Hi guys, thank you for being here. For today's reading, um, I'm gonna be channeling a message because that's what called me uh, to do this morning. So I'm gonna do that, connect with you guys and share a message. As always, these are uh, general readings, so the readings may or may not resonate with you. I'm just burning some Palo Santo here, okay, to kind of clear the energy before we get started. And uh, so, you know, so just take the parts that do resonate and let the rest go. With that being said, let's get right into it and let's see what messages need to come for this week. <sighs> So the first thing I'm hearing is let go. And it's like every time something comes up for you, something that stirs you emotionally, something, you know, a painful memory or something or the other, anything that triggers pain in you, simply take a deep breath in and exhale. Like I'm letting go, I'm letting go of stress, I'm letting go of trauma, I'm letting go of pain, I'm letting go of anything that does not serve me, even if it's a belief, even if it's a negative thought, just breathe it out. Center yourself. Know that you are protected. You are getting a higher awareness. That's what I'm getting. I'm seeing that you are being shown a higher vision. Trust, I keep hearing trust, okay? Spirit is showing me this vision. It's almost like a grandmother figure. Uh, that's how I'm seeing it. And she's holding your hand. And you are this child, this divine child. And you're, you know, it doesn't have to be your grandmother. It can be any motherly figure in the spirit realm, but it's this nurturing, protective energy telling you that you are safe no matter what. You are protected, okay, on this journey. I'm also getting don't allow distractions don't allow distractions to come in the way so spirit wants you to be focused on your higher goal rather than the voices or the distractions or you know the drama and the chaos or whatever is being played out externally internally keep focused like like a compass you know like a gps right guiding us Focus on your path, focus on the next step and don't allow, just let these voices or distractions come and go, just like clouds, you know, just like dark clouds on, on a nice sunny day. Sometimes they cloud the sun, but then they pass and then the sun shines again, right? So life is like that. Things and circumstances and people and situations and triggers, they will come and they will pass but you gotta be like the sun you gotta be shining you gotta stay focused okay on your path rather than what's happening around you the spirit is saying that you are learning to stay centered you are uh, grounding that energy and really what they're showing me is this energy is moving through you, through through your body, through your feet, into the ground. And it's like being transmuted. They're saying see the bigger picture. There is so much that you have to share. There is so much that you have to bring forward, but you need trust and you need faith for that. I'm also being shown that some of you are coming, like you're hitting a wall, okay? You're hitting a wall. And the question here is, why are you hitting a wall? Why are you, what is this resistance teaching you? 
ask yourself, are you supposed to pause? Are you supposed to find a new direction? Is there something to learn in this moment where you feel stuck? Just breathe into it. Bring your breath back to that space within you because my stomach feels like knotted right now. It's like bring your breath to that space that feels stuck and with your out breath, with your exhalation, release that. Spirit is showing me that you do realize that you're so much more than everything that you were taught to believe, to be, that you were told that you are. So I feel many of you who are watching this have already had that realization that whatever was taught to you, whatever was told to you came from someone's projection of what you can or cannot be. But you realize your, your infinite nature and the endless possibilities that come with it. I keep seeing this protector spirit around you. For some, this is your grandma. For some, this is your mother. For some, this is like an ancestor that you may have never met, but she's watching over you. But I am getting that you are being called to explore new territories, okay? For some reason, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm seeing Arizona in my mind. I've never been there. I really want to go there. Maybe sometime when, when I, you know, when it's my divine timing to be there, but that's how I'm seeing, you know, it's barren land, but it feels so sacred. It feels so holy to me. It's like a vision quest. It's like you're supposed, you're being called on a different journey. And even though it seems barren, it's so so sacred and so divine. Your past has built you up to be much stronger. It's like everything that you needed is part of your bag, is part of your, you know, like, like a medicine bag. You're holding all that wisdom, you're holding all that knowledge, you're holding all that, you know, that potent, magical energy within you. But there is something greater which is calling you now. A voice, a nudge, a pull, you feel it because that is part of your destiny and spirit is leading the way. It is only through trust that you will walk down this path. So if you are waiting to find all the answers right now in this moment, that's not, that's not how it's gonna come about. It will be one step at a time. So when you take step one, step two will be re revealed to you when you take step two step three will be shown to you and so on and so forth you must release thoughts of rejection i'm hearing demeaning thoughts they could have been your thoughts or thoughts that were passed on and we pick on a lot of collective energy, guys. So there's a lot of fear, a lot of programming around you should be or you need to be. And here we are as light workers bringing in something new, a new pathway. And this old programming of rejection is not gonna work. It's not gonna work with this, wherever we headed because it's not aligned with that program. It's not aligned to our truth. This is, this is something so sacred where you're working in harmony with your higher self, 
in with the under the guidance of your spirit guides and your spirit team you need to forgive those who do not understand you you need to forgive those who discredit you you need to forgive those who make you feel small and again coming back to my initial point of focus is like you know distractions here and there bring your focus back to what is okay and don't get distracted in all these voices that are trying to take you in this direction or that direction or tell you to do this or be that or you can't do this or you can do that or whatever it is for you with your breath again centering yourself coming back to yourself okay remembering that you are a warrior you are a warrior of light you are a teacher of truth and it's so important for you in this lifetime to step in your integrity to walk your truth now i'm seeing a doorway and again i'm seeing this guide i'll describe how i see her i see her as an elderly woman she has white flowing long hair sometimes she looks like her face looks like a native woman to me and sometimes it looks as if she's a grandma but she has a very nurturing spirit yet she is very strong-willed so she stands by this doorway she wants you to trust she wants you to come closer and not be scared i'm seeing it as a portal and when I ask, what is this? It's like, it's gonna completely change you in ways that you can't even fathom. Like, how is this gonna come about? It's healing. It's like, it's like a healing medicine. All you have to do is just surrender, is surrender and just be. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to be anything. You just have to be yourself. And that's that part of you that's been wanting to come forward. That's been wanting to just leap out is yourself. You're coming back to yourself. Actually, that's what's happening. You feel you're going on this crazy journey of unknown territory, but actually you're coming back to you. And that can't be scary, guys. Because we're coming back to ourselves, to our wholeness, to love that we are. We don't need anyone to tell us what we are and what we aren't because we are love. We are divine, right? Okay, let me see if there's any message that needs to come through. You will be supported. And I'm getting like you have to share yourself like on a much deeper level than you, you've ever shared. Like you have to step, bring that vulnerable part of yourself out and step into, in order to step into your authenticity. It's like you're sharing a deeper aspect of yourself than you have ever disclosed to others, but it's like shedding that layer and allowing. It's like, you know, I'm drawn to this candle flame. It's like this flame within you that you have nurtured and taken care of, but now this flame needs to light up, light up a dark room, you know, just like, when you put one candle in a dark room, it lights up that room. You, do, you don't need anything else. You can see through, you can see in that room, even though the room is still dark and dimmed, but the light, the light guides you, the light illuminates things and you are that light. And I feel what I'm getting is you're gonna have so many realizations so many aha moments and it's just gonna come back to you everything 
your wisdom, who you are, what you are, and all this, these beliefs of what you should be and what you can and can be, it's just gonna be like, like wisps of, you know, how do I say this? It's like, again, those dark clouds that, that move away and that are insignificant to the sun because the sun is so brilliant. So with that, I conclude today's message. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sharing your energy. And I love you guys. I will see you next week. Thank you so much.